Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Adam and welcome back to the Festival Mill. Today we are doing the Reading and Leeds shopping video. So we couldn't work out times to meet up, me and Ruben, so we're doing it separate. It's gonna be a bit of a merged video. Um, you're gonna jump from oh, you're gonna jump from bits um, of our shop and then also Ruben's shop. So I hope you guys do enjoy. We are just heading to the home of all bargains. Home bargains. You've been staying up late, I don't know what for. Say it every year. It's gotta be done. Rennies. He never uses them. He's never used them. Energy you with boost, baby, stick it in. This is section you want travel. Do these work? No. Are you sure? Water wipes, not baby wipes. Water wipes from Home Mario, 199. Don't listen to my prep guide, don't get it on Amazon. 349. Home bargains. For those of you who've got the uh, 199 tent on Sainsbury's, you need some of this. Looking good. I mean, we've got some centuries here from uh, Home Bargains. A couple of camping ones that we don't have. Updated lamp. Shout out to CBC guys. Echo Falls. It was one of their favourite drinks. Should we get some? No. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the next destination. We've got picked up some stuff from Home Bargains. Got some camping gear, which is good. Uh, a couple of toilet trees as well. And we got our pot noodles, or three pot noodles, because they're only like 70 feet or something. So, it's a good start. Now we're off to, where are we going? Tesco. To finish up on alcohol, food and drink. We're also looking for drinking pouches. And worst case, we'll get them off Amazon, but I'm hoping we can get them for the shop. So, I'm at the Sainsbury's in Labrador Grove. Um, just buying up Labbert Grove, yeah, Asia Tracy will be there as a special guest. Um, Adam's hot take is that he's going to, well, it's not really a hot take, he's going to do the same similar sort of set at Glastonbury where he kind of went a bit more rocky um, with drums and like a, a live band, essentially. Um, bought all the essentials, ready now for Reading um, and Leeds, for those of you going to Leeds. Um, God, it's literally a few days away now. Um, and hopefully this video is gonna go up and I'm sure Adam has probably done more than me. He's, he's better and more used to these sorts of videos than I am. But I just thought I'd chuck in what I've bought um, and just come on, say hello. Um, and hopefully see some of your lovely faces um, at Reading. And I'm thinking we're gonna try and sort something out for some of the guys um, up in Leeds. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a great um, weekend, next weekend. Um, and I'm sure in the next clip, I'll show you exactly what I've bought. Yeah, because this time after I work here, so we got a discount. Not this shit. Food for two, can't complain, couple of Listerines, and some hand wipes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cheaper. And bigger. And bigger. Well, these were a very popular choice last time. Did we get them last time? Yeah. And I ate them all. Shot. One pound, can't go wrong. And Jeff Cates took these to the truck, went down the tree. Porridge ideal for the mornings. Fills you up, keeps you going for the day, and then you have to buy less. But the thing is, the more you spend here and the more you take, the less you have to spend at the festival, and you buy a £15 portion of jobs. Right, what are we going for, lots? No. 
We're going fuels. Did we get fuels? You did. I want too many hmm. egg tech. There's vanilla at the back if you want vanilla. So with a free with a Thursday morning, Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, with a four. Oh, four each? Three each? Three each. And then we'll get breakfast on one of the days, don't yeah. we? We've got a lot of supplies. Porridge, pot noodles salted, a few snacks. Now it's drinks time. We've already found these, so that's why we've got these, but now it's drink time. Booze. A staple to all festivals. Go on, <laughs> zoomed in. Go on. We've got a little bit of bougie. We've got old meat, dark fruits, the cocktail can you saw earlier, and some white claw. Spicing it up a little bit, and also we've got our little as our choice, and we've got some gin at home that we're going to decant. What we can eat? What we can eat? Discount card. Look at that. So we just left Tesco. Got all of our food bits. We got our lunch provisions, our breakfast provisions, a few alcohol and a few snack bits. All done. Um, and as I said in there, I mean. I always bang on about not overpacking and lots tells me off for saying that but what you've got to think is that the more money you spend here which is only a couple of quid here and there is the less you're going to spend in the arena if you buy and breakfast lunch dinner in the arena or at Reading and Leeds it's going to cost a lot more so keep that in mind when you're shopping make sure you and you can always take a couple of trips if you take too much you've got in the world so yep yeah, we've got our porridge pot noodle for lunch and then just a few snack bits, a few bits that we want to in there, some squares bars, a ton of chocolates, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, it's exciting. I can't believe we're a week away. It's a week today until we get into those fields, crack open a can on our uh, camping chairs. But Tesco's was decent, good to get the club card discount as well. And have a quick look at home bargains for your last week of camping bits because that's helped us. You can see the light from my bedroom door. Okay, so quickly we're just going to run through what we got from Tesco's and Home Bargains. It was a really successful trip, got lots of food, and last year we got a bit slated for being able to feed a family of five. Today, we can feed a family of four. Okay, so let's quickly run through breakfast and lunch. The idea is we're taking breakfast and lunch every day, so you only have to buy dinner in there so what did we get so let's start with these porridge pots instant oats they go with hot water that you can just get from the food vendor so we got uh three of those each we also got some of these which i really like i got them last year they're fuel they're breakfast drinks they're kind of just like a little proteiny shake thing for the morning to get your nutrients in that's always good um lots opted for the uh wheat picks on the goes and for lunch we've got pot noodles again go with hot water mug shots pot noodles king size Get whatever you want. I mean, they're absolutely ideal. And um, we did it at track and it worked really, really well. And some pastries each for the breakfast too. Um, I went for pan chocolates, lots went for some waffles and also fruit tins. I rave about fruit tins every single time we go to a festival because you can, you're not going to take an apple, they're going to go a bit off. So with the fruit tins, just pop them open, have a snack. I normally eat mine about, I don't know, about 10, 11 o'clock just before lunch. And they're really, really good. Another essential are obviously your sort of breakfast bars. So we've got fiber ones, we've got squares, we've got Kellogg's um, Frosties, and we've got these protein bars, which I was raving about at Truck Festival. Really, really good. Snack wise, just some laces, just cause a uh, little bit of a sweet treat. Lottie, as she says in the video, Andrew Snices went down a treat last year. Um, and Jaffa cakes as well, we took those to try. So that's kind of it for sweet snacks that you have sort of in between your meals. So porridge, pan of chocolat, bit of fruit for breakfast, have a squares bar, something like that in the middle, have your pot noodle, and you're gonna be nearly full up for the rest of the day um, on top of all your cider and everything. We've also got some crisps as well, we've um, got some Texas barbecue, Pringles, because the tins are quite nice, and some mini cheddars. So then drinks, what we're taking is we are taking a Lilt as our mixer for our gin, which we don't have here, but at home I've got a bottle of tankery gin that I'm going to decant. So ciders and things, so we've got uh, Old Moot Cider, Pineapple and Raspberry, lovely. Mix sharing bag of cocktail cans, ideal. Uh, some White Claw as well, which the idea behind that is that they've got some soda water in it. 
So, and they're like a spritzer, so it just means we're gonna be a little bit more um, hydrated and Monster Energy in case we need a little bit of a boost. We've got some Robertson's fruit um, squeezy to put with some water. Speaking of water, this 10 litre carrier bag is the best thing ever. Please do get this. And um, I know a lot of you guys liked that on the essentials because you can fill up 10 litres from the water tank and you can just keep refilling the bottle or whatever you want to use. Jelly as well, Lottie got for some breakfast. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it really. Uh, you don't have to take those. Bear in mind, this is for two people. We've actually done quite well this year. Um, not too much to take at all. In terms of toiletries and camping stuff, um, we got a new light from Home Bargains. That was cheap. The only thing we are missing is like a cup or a drinking pouch. I might have to have a look to see if I can get one of them on Amazon Prime for us um, because we're out two days away from the festival. And toiletries, wet wipes, um, mosquito band, energy tablets, some wipes. Chewing gum, Listerine, toothpaste, and there's a lot more at home that I'm just going to bring with me. So yeah, that's it. We've got all of our stuff. We've been shopping. I hope this helps. The idea is we upload it on the Monday of um, before the festival. So then when you're going shopping tonight, when you're going shopping on like Tuesday, and for some of you will be going Wednesday, you can quickly look at this. So that's decent to take. And um, yeah, it's kind of like a mini food and drink guide as well. So hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you enjoyed Ruben's little um, part of shopping as well. I really wanted him to get involved with this video. And the next video that will be coming out before Reading is going to be set times and secret sets. Not too much secret set news, bearing in mind it's the Monday and the set times haven't even come out yet. So that's going to be going up like Wednesday morning or something. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. My name's been Adam. That's been Ruben, uh, previous in the video. And we'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys.